Hey everybody, welcome back. In this lesson, I am gonna start showing you and teaching you about networks. But first, we need to set up an environment on our computers that allows us to interact with networks. Um, uh, I will say, bef before we start getting into the hands-on, that I'm, I'm gonna use Packet Tracer, which is a network simulator, but I'm also, throughout this course, going to be showing you how this is done on real-world systems. You know, how to physically connect to a switch and how to configure a real router. Uh, and, and, and then how to do it in a simulator, too. Um, but the big thing here is I want to do as much as I can in Packet Tracer so that you can do it, too. Because I know that it's not always possible for everybody to get uh, equipment at home even though it is ideal. So I'll give you options. Uh, keep in mind this class is best enjoyed if you follow the steps that I'm doing uh, uh, as I'm doing them. However, you can learn a lot by just watching too. I just You need to know that learning by doing is, is one of the most effective ways to learn. So go ahead and go out to netacad.com another way you can get there is you can look up cisco networking academy packet tracer what packet tracer is is a network simulator tool developed by cisco systems to um to help others learn design and build out networks now a lot of their their uh stuff is cisco specific and this class is vendor neutral which means that we're not depending on one one vendor uh, we're, we're gonna use multiple vendors I'll use some Netgear as well but I, I need you to understand that the world we we live in and the world that's connected is really not vendor specific so that's why this class is not vendor specific however we will interact with some very popular vendors such as Cisco so Cisco used to actually require you to be a Cisco Network Academy student enrolled in a school uh, before they'd give you Packet Tracer, but now they're giving it away for free as long as you enroll in the free Cisco Packet Tracer course. So go ahead and enroll in that. Once you log in, you can go to Resources and you can download Packet Tracer. So there's a lot of ways you can do that. You can go through, you know, Packet Tracer here log in you, you know you'll sign up there and you'll see a resources tab that'll let you download packet tracer so go ahead and do that i'll let you do it you got this uh, pause the video and then start it start it back up and i'll show you around packet tracer all right so check this out i've got packet tracer open already so you're going to notice it's you can it, it should put a desktop shortcut or uh, you can just search in mac uh, Linux distributions or in Windows. And by the way, Packet Tracer works on every every platform. So go ahead and, and they even have a mobile. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, of mobile, but it, it works. It really does. So here we go. Here's Packet Tracer. Um, notice what's behind me. The white space uh, is the canvas. And that's where you drop all of your network items into the topology and a topology is really how your network is laid out. So for us to design, you know, and us to plan out networks first before we actually implement them is a good practice. You know, they say proper planning prevents poor performance. So anytime you can plan ahead, the better off you are. So I'm not, you're not going to have to know every button in Packet Tracer for this course. Uh, but I'm going to show you the main ones that you will need to know about. So if you if you look towards the bottom, you'll see that we are in real time mode. So let me step out of the way. You see right behind me that's highlighted. It says real time mode, and then there's simulation mode. So real time mode, all the traffic, everything we connect together happens in real time. Simulation mode actually helps us to follow packets or data as it travels across the network. So it's pretty cool. Let, let me show you just a, a quick demonstration. Is If you look down at the bottom left here, you have up at the top row, there is device categories. So like Network devices, those are the things that connect computers together, like switches and routers and wireless access points. Then you have things like end devices, which are 
devices that connect at the end of your network, meaning there's no other connection that goes out from them other than what connects from their, from their network interface to a switch or to a router. So uh, watch, watch as I drop a PC in the topology. So I'll click the PC. Notice how it's now got a selector tool going. I click into the topology, it adds a PC. So I can do one more, right? So I have two PCs. Then you go over here back to network devices. I'm gonna grab a switch, because what is a switch? A switch is actually a computer that has a bunch of ports on it or interfaces on it that switches traffic between devices on the network. And we're gonna get in more depth there. I just want you to understand on a high level for now how, how Packet Tracer works. So we've got the switch in there. And then once you have the switch and the two PCs, you can actually start simulating physical connections. So we'll go over here and grab a copper straight through, also known as Ethernet, you know, like a, a cable you'll see uh, connected to the back of a, a computer. You'll click that and notice that the PC has ports, right? So you'll see fast Ethernet, USB, right? RS-232. We'll talk about all those. I'm sure you know what USB is, but we're going to go and hit fast Ethernet. And it's stuck to the selector tool now. So I'll go over here to the, the switch and I'll plug it into fast Ethernet 1. And look, it actually goes through what's called the convergence process, which is the transitioning of the port on the switch to from a learning status into a, you know, a fully converged and up state, which means now traffic can pass through. So you can actually fast forward that process right down here. If I double click, notice how it sped it up. But it tries to do everything in real time based on what would really happen on the equipment. Um, so you know, I'd use fast forward in Packet Tracer. Unfortunately, we sometimes we can't fast forward installs and processes in, in the real world. So I'll connect this one together too. And you can see now, we're, we're establishing network connectivity. You can assign what's called an IP address to these computers, which is a logical identifier for a computer, and we will talk about that in greater depth. So I'll show you that real, real quick. Um, go into the PC. Notice it has a physical tab, which shows physical components, kind of an older form factor for a PC, but it's fine. You can power it off. You can add interfaces to it. You know, it already has a physical NIC, which is a network interface card or network interface controller. So you look at desktop, it's kind of like an operating system. So in, in this operating system is simulating Windows. It's not a full-blown virtualized version of Windows, but it is simulating it. So how do I know? Go to the command prompt, right? And you can see that this is blinking, this cursor, it's blinking, and, and you can see next to it, it says C colon, right? That's C drive, which Windows identifies drives using drive letter. So I'll show you, you do IP config, and you can do all types of commands from here. So that's really the, the Packet Tracer primer and the intro to Packet Tracer. We're going to be getting familiar with it, so please try to get that installed if you can. Um, if you need help with that, shoot a message in the, in the Discord or shoot me a message on LinkedIn and I'll help you get up and going. Um, I'll see you in the next video.